So lately I've been wanting to touch bases on like what's going on in the world because it seemed like I don't know, it just seemed like every time I look on social media, it don't matter what city it is, but it feel like people just dying back to back, back to back. And it's like I don't know. I be I be trying to figure out because the way the culture is going right now, it's like people feel like I this is my opinion that they need to hop in the streets in order to get a rap career or you know, everybody wanna be this real nigga, the shooter, and you know, back in the day it wasn't like that. It was like you know, it was the shooters, the, the people that got money. Then it was the, you know, the dudes that stay out the way. And, you know, they knew they, they role, they place. You know what I mean? So it's like, me personally, I don't understand why everybody be wanting to hop in the streets. Because there's a lot of pain that come with it. And I've been shot 17 times in four different occasions. I've been shot uh, once in 2010, seven times in, in 2011, three times. And 2012, and then six times in 2020, and it's like it's just a lot of pain that come with it. So I'm be, I be, I be trying to like wrap my mind around it. Like why people that never been in the streets or needed to get into it, wanted to get into it, you know, just to feel this pain. You lose a lot of homies and just a lot, man. Getting shot, and then you know it's crazy because I remember I had friends. I had a youngin, my young boy. He was, he dead now, but at the time I'm like, you know. You know, he was moving reckless, wild, doing shit like that. And it, and I feel kind of bad because I was the one that turned him out. But I just be trying to figure out, like, in order, I'm like, in order for certain these people, some of these, these young boys and all that to calm down, I'm like, you know, it, it takes for them to feel like hot shit. But the only thing with that is you just hope that, especially when it's somebody you love, you just hope that they survive that hot shit the first time it come around. Me personally, I didn't learn. Like, when I kept getting shot, it made me worse. But, you know, I, I I knew dudes, a lot of my homies, a couple of niggas that got shot, and they calmed right down after it. Like, they ain't want no, more, they ain't want no parts of that street shit after that. Like, you know what I'm saying? But the hot shit ain't no joke. Like, you not no movies, but you see somebody getting shot in real life, and they keep, like, moving their legs, and, tw and like, this is like they fighting for their life. Like, you know what I'm saying? I know that feeling. Two, two out of the four times I got shot, I felt that feeling. I felt like I was... Fighting for my life, like losing so much blood. I feel like my soul was leaving my body and I tried to fight it. And man, and I you know, thank God I'm still here, but I don't know. This shit just roll out here and, you know, I don't know. And one thing I want to clear up too, because I make videos on um, social media, you know, funny videos and stuff like that. But it's really be based off my life, like stuff I went through, or, you know, or how I got to move to this day. But it's not the pro, uh, cause I had one of one of my friends say, "Yo, bro, just say you promote gang violence." I actually don't. I mind the streets no more. I don't slide on niggas no more. But you know, I do carry myself accordingly. Cause once you hop in that street life, ain't no leaving. Never. You know what I'm saying you can try to change and do this and that. That's cool. But as soon as you get too comfortable, that's when somebody take you out. You know what I'm saying so it's like I still be on my shit. But that's only cause I had to. Cause I, there were, you know, years ago as a young boy and I hopped in this shit. You know what I'm saying. So you got to move like that for the rest of your life now. Because even though you want to change, you want better for yourself. Everybody else ain't thinking like that. So, you know, it's just some things to think about. So, I don't know. These young boys got to do better, though, man. Everybody want to rap this and talk about what they doing in their raps. And it just it just don't make no sense to me. And all the pain that come with it. It's like, you don't know. Like me, when I first jumped in this shit, I ain't know that. Especially living with my mom, that was going to bring pain to my family. My mom's house got shot up. You know, bullets hitting couches, chairs. My mom, my mom literally just went upstairs. You know what I mean, so it's like, it's just a lot. It's a, it's just a lot to come with that, man. Y'all young boys gotta make better decisions, man, cause it's, it's real out here for real. It's real. Y'all gotta make better decisions. And man, I'm think thankful for me to still be here though. But you know, it's a blessing. I've been shot all over hands, stomach, chest. You see right here, uh, I got in my neck, back, legs, everything. I've been hit all over, man. That shit ain't no joke. That hot shit, it's a whole nother feeling, man. That's why you, it, when people feel like hot shit, it change them. You know what I mean? That shit really change niggas. So, all I got to say is, man, if you, if you got an opportunity to do something better with your life, do that.
Don't hop in the street shit. This shit ain't for everybody. And I, me personally, I don't think it's for nobody. Cause it's who the fuck wanna live their life? It's crazy. Cause I, I'm from Philly, so it's like when I'm growing up in Philly, that's all I knew. Street shit. I ain't never leave it. You know, I was boxing when I was young. Anytime I left the city, it was for like boxing tournaments and stuff like that. But never really to enjoy myself. When I first came to Atlanta and seeing my brother was going to uh, Clark. When I first came to Atlanta, I seen a whole nother life. And I'm like, yo, this shit crazy. I like this. Philly, I'm used to, you know what I'm saying? Somebody look at me too long, I got up on them. Like, that shit just too much, man. It's like, you're not really living life. You know what I'm saying? So I just, just to think back now, it's like, I, I lost so many years not even living my life. And I thought I was. Because I'm thinking being in the street, shooting guns, getting shot at, shootouts, and all that shit was fun. But really, that shit caused so much pain, anxiety, PTSD, everything. Like, you just... Like, now, even to this day, I go, I can go out of town to go have some fun. And my whole, I'm looking, I'm watching everybody, watching from the hip. Damn, for me, she ain't got nothing on them. It's just... just like, and I don't even, like, want to, like... I'm so used to not going to clubs in my city because, you know, I got one of the situations of me getting shot was me coming out the club. I wasn't even old enough to get in the club, but at that time, I had my brother fake ID. I mean, my brother ID, so it was, it was fake to me because it was his ID because he older than me, but that shit just, man, I don't even go out no more, none of that shit. That shit really fucked me up mentally to this day. All my homies I lost, all the buzz I took, that shit fucked me up. So, I just want to, I don't know. I just feel like I need to start putting some positivity into the world. Talk about what I've been through. Because um, somebody hit me up the other day and said that I don't even know the influence I got on people. Somebody said they watch my videos for, you know, just motivation and everything. That let them know that they can do anything and change their lives after being in the streets. And that's exactly what I did. So, when I see me videos and it be like street concepts concepts it's not me promoting violence it's just me showing where i what and where i come from